okay, so uh, apparently the masses out there love Bootstrap, okay? So I'm just gonna put uh, more Bootstrap videos on there. They like it. So I don't wanna disappoint all those Bootstrap fans out there. So this is gonna be part two of Bootstrapping or Bootstrap Your Child theme. So what we're gonna do is, you see my lovely mock-up here. I've made an adjustment. Um, I've added a sidebar under there because I realize these posts get too wide. So uh, we're gonna make use of everything of the bootstrap grid that we could use on the home page. Okay, so what I've done is I've isolated um, the tags that really form the bootstrap grid because what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the bootstrap grid to get all of our regions on our child theme laid out the way we want them. So let me show you this because I've, I've got it already on the notepad plus plus ready to go even with pretty comments unless you don't like the color gray and then they're kind of drab comments you know okay so I made some comments here at the top for example note everything above goes into the header now I've collapsed the head for example because I don't want to worry about it in my last tutorial we got it connected we we've attached all we need and so what I want to focus on is just HTML, okay? And in a bootstrap layout, in a bootstrap or any grid layout in a WordPress site, what you want to think about is you want to think about what is going to be the structure of every page, okay? And just focus on it. So one of the things I, I want to do is just show you how this all works. Originally, we had an outer div around everything, and it had a class of both container and one of two columns. Um, and so what we're going to do is our parent theme, I believe, has a div with a different class title on it. So we're going to change the class to match our bootstrap page. Okay, remember, we're taking bootstrap, we're taking an, a static page and turning it into our child theme. So we're going to get rid of tags that are not necessary for what we're doing. And then we're going to focus just on these to create the general structure. Notice we have a div with a class of header. And inside of that one, we put some stuff in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop the nav into it. Okay. So for now, we just need a div with a class of header. And then we're not going to worry about the other stuff. Okay. Because all of that goes into header.php. And, and most of our focus is going to be most of the work happens in the main one called index.php. All of this stuff here is in index.php. And then we have this section here. It says place this in the sidebar. And then, of course, your HR is optional. It's just a presentational thing. In fact, I generally don't recommend it because we can always add borders with CSS. So you, that's elective. You, you may choose to have the HR or you may choose not to. And then we, we add what's HTML in the footer. So that's the breakdown of it. So like I said, the, the idea here is we're going to strip the parent theme of any tags that are unnecessary, and we're gonna use all of these tags here. For now, what we're gonna do, uh, well, actually, we'll do it when we get there. So the first thing we wanna do is go into our header.php, and we need to add these two tags and remove anything that's unnecessary, but don't forget you gotta close this one div with the class of header. And if there's already a div with the class of header in the parent theme, we just leave it there. Okay, so let's start with that first. Okay, on the right, I moved my call to action to the right-hand window, and I opened up my header.php, the one I'm working on, on my file. And I'm going to ignore everything in the head for now, so I'm going to go up here on the left, and I'm going to close it with the little, little minus sign on line 13, so that's gone. Because what we're doing is we're focusing on this stuff here, okay? We're going to ignore the body tag, everything that's there, just leave it. Notice the first div has an ID of page and a class of H feed. We don't need that anymore. Instead, we're going to do what's in this, which is we're going to change it to a div with a class of container to column instead. So I want to right click, copy that. So I'm going to paste right in here. Paste. Okay, so that's a different div with a class of container to column. Now in here, I had a div with a class of header. Notice I gave it a class, not an ID. On here, they gave a header with an ID of branding, a role of banner, an H group, a header one, a bunch of other stuff. I want you guys to consider 
you might want to hold off on making any changes to the header and the H group and that stuff for now, okay? Because it's already working. So the one thing I might change is um, on the header with an idea of branding, we could just give this a class of header to the header. You get to choose. So that's up to you what you want to do. If you're going to copy that in, though, you're going to want to actually paste it here, and I'm going to tab it over, and then I'm going to tab everything else over. So before I do, let me just close the H group. Notice there's a nav, and there's just all this other stuff in the header. So I want to just highlight that and just hit tab. Tabbed it over. I'm going to I'm going to subtract that H group. I'll just do the whole header thing here. Okay. So I just click the little minus sign next to the header with the idea of branding. And I want to go down a line. And I want to go over here. I want to tab. And I want to close that div. This is closing that div there. The next thing I notice, guys, is that I have a div with an ID of main. And that's it on line 92. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. And the reason why is I have no div with an ID of main in my bootstrap, so why would I want one in here as well? So let me collapse these so you see what's going on one more time. Okay. Let me remind you, in the end, you want a div with the class of row fluid. Okay. That creates your main div. So one more time, you got an option to make. You could just get rid of the idea of main, or you can leave it in. I'm thinking of getting rid of it and just replacing the, the idea of main with a class of row fluid. Because in a way, this is going to do the same thing that the other tag does. Yeah, I expanded it out. So I highlight that. You know what might be a good idea is do this in stages. It never hurts to have both an ID and a class. So maybe we should leave that in there for now just to protect ourselves, make sure we don't mess things up. But at the end, that's it. That's the end of our, our header.php. Because remember, the header.php houses all of the, the header as well as the navigation bar on the page. And then everything else, this div with the class, uh, actually we already did that one here with the class of row fluid and all that stuff. You know, honestly, I think this goes better inside. I think this should be pulled out of the head altogether, in fact, as I think about it. But as you may understand, all these things are optional, and they're all up to what makes sense to you. For me, if I'm going to close my header, I'm, that's it for my header.php. Why introduce a new tag to drop other things in? So I'm going to get rid of that. And this may hurt myself down in the future until I fix everything else. So be it. How's that, man? I'm just bold there. In the end, you have this header, the H group. You have all this other stuff. And the only difference is this one is a class of container to column. I added an outer div with a class of header that I closed way down here on line 91. I'm going to get rid of the extra line return. In fact, it might be a good idea to comment that that's the end of header. So I'm going to do exactly what they did there. I'm going to put a comment header. And I'm going to put dot header because it's a class of header, not an ID of header. See the difference? So the pound sign is for ID. The dot is for class. Save my changes. Now I'm going to go through each of these files doing the same general thing. Remember, we're let me just collapse all this stuff here. At this point, this div with the class of header is done. We've collapsed it. So all of this stuff is taken care of now. We don't need to look at that anymore. We're going to do this, create three calls to action. And then we're going to create a two-column fluid grid using row fluid. We're going to include this div with the class of span A content. And then this stuff here is going to go into sidebar.php. So we're going to ignore that for now. What we want 
is we want our index.html or index.php. Save your changes and let's do it now. Uh, guys, come to think of it, before I go into index.php, uh, we should take care of one special div on line 72, and that's this div of the class of container to column. This is what I put to surround everything in my bootstrap call to action. To prove it, let me go to the top and let me hit collapse on here. Notice the next thing we see is the script tags on line 110. So the, the key here means that that div gets closed down on line 109. So that's going to be part of our footer. So we need to add that to the footer. So let's add it to the footer before I continue. So go ahead on the left where I have the header. I'm going to open up the footer now. There's footer.php. We use footer.php because we had those two script tags. So I'm going to open that up. It moved it to the wrong view, so I'm going to move it back over here. And what I want to do is I want to close that last div. Uh, and on here, remember, we deleted the one with, the, with an ID of page. So guess what? This is going to be the one that closes it. So instead of dot page, I'm going to, or uh, pound sign page, I'm going to put a dot. And my header, I called it container. So we're going to put dot container. So just remember, this closing div is the one that closed that one that was in the header. So you're going to want to have that one available. So I'm going to separate it out a little bit. Okay, so this, this closes, uh, closes first div from header.php. I want you to know what it's closing um, so you know you are the one who added the initial opening tag, and this is where you close it. Of course, uh, I should also go ahead and try these out, so that's what we're going to do. So I, I'm going to upload both footer and header.php, make sure I'm putting it into the right folder, going from the right folder, right-click, upload, click OK. We want to save our changes, and then let's go test it out on our page. So, I'm gonna, so I go to my site and I take a look at it. I want to view the source, view page source, and I'm looking for the div with the class of container to column. There it is. Go down to the bottom, make sure I closed it. Uh, footer doesn't look right. Let me see what the thing looked like down at the bottom of footer. Which is a container closes first div from header.php. Maybe I should save my changes next time. Yeah. Double click. Okay. We'll test There's it out. Right Hit refresh. View source. Go to the bottom. And there it is. I know I've got it. We'll continue on the next tutorial adding the whole grid sections. Okay, I should probably point out that uh, you, you guys are watching the video, you're like, wait a minute, didn't he go back a few steps? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I was realizing it when I was doing it, it didn't seem right that it looked like this on my page. Turned out, when I was prepping this page to show everyone what we're going to do, I added a little bit of a space after the PHP tag before the slash, and I'd forgotten that I had done that. So I made it. I fixed those, I put the slashes, I got rid of that extra space. And now let's take a look at that page one more time. Because in this case, when we are having the bootstrap and we do the grid, this is what we should see happening. We should see everything be centered. And then you're going to notice the sidebar kind of wraps underneath it. So we're going to use the grid to keep that from happening and add all of our other features. But I thought I'd better point that out before I go ahead and send this video off to YouTube land. So thank you.